Okay, let's get started. So, we're talking about work today. There's been a great deal of research about how people in the U.S. work and how they think about their work. And one big question many researchers have is, are people working more hours than they did back in the 1970s? Or, now that we have all these time-saving technology like computers, cell phones, fax machines, are people in the U.S. working fewer hours? That's the question for the researchers. And what I want to do today is discuss several aspects of the research on work habits. Okay. Well, it turns out that we don't actually have a clear picture of whether or not Americans are working more hours. We're just not 100% certain. And that's because when researchers ask people to just talk in a general way, uh, when they ask them how much they work, like how many hours they work at the office, the results seem to show that yes, people work more hours than they used to. But when researchers ask people to keep a time diary of their work hours, that means they ask people to write down how many hours they work every day well. It turns out workers actually spend fewer hours working than they did 30 years ago. And uh, as you might expect, this is very interesting to social scientists. Good. So, the really interesting thing that we see in these studies is that people think they are working more hours than they actually are. Now, before we move on, are there any questions or comments? Hmm? Good. Okay. Now, the reason for this contrast of what Americans say and what they do is, well, in America, people seem to feel busier. They have a sense that they are, that there are so many things for them to organize and do. Uh, there seems to be, let's just call it a general sense of overall time pressure, meaning pressure, meaning uh, pressure to get everything done in time. I like to call this feeling of being busy. I just call it be. I just call it busyness. Here. Uh, let me write it for you. Okay. So, now I want to focus on a few causes for this increased feeling of busyness. This feeling of always being busy. Hmm? So, let's look at one cause. And to do that, let's analyze a change that happened in this country about 30 years ago or so. Back in the 1970s, more women than ever began to work outside of the home. They got jobs. So, since women were working, men had to take on new household responsibilities like taking care of the children, cooking, cleaning, you know. Now this, of course, meant that both women and men began to have two roles, two roles working out of the home at a job and working in the home, taking care of the family. Both men and women have to juggle the responsibilities of children, household chores, and work. So, you can see that men and women feel they're busier because they are doing more than just working at a job or just working at home. They're doing both. And they, as a result, they feel busy all the time. It's a pretty logical feeling. All right, now let's move on to discuss where people work. Um, because that's another cause of this feeling of busyness. One of the trends that we see is that for many Americans, work is no longer limited to a job and a regular schedule. Now we have new technologies such as fax machines, pagers, email, and of course computers. And that means that people continue to do their work at home. So, the traditional 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock workday is becoming a thing of the past now. It's, it's not 9 to 5 for a lot of people now. That the workday can easily continue into the evening. So, as a consequence, people are often doing housework and office work at the same time. And what's the result? Of course, they feel busier because of this. 
they feel like they're always working. And so uh, there's that feeling of busyness again. Okay, now we've talked about the fact that many people work, many people's work is not limited to just one location and not limited to just the daytime. Let's now move on to talk about what is happening in the workplace. This um, is important to understand because the changes in the American workplace have led to another cause of this feeling of busyness we're discussing. Here's what we see. These days, as you probably know, competition in the business world is tougher than ever. Companies have to produce more and spend less in order to stay competitive. And so, in many cases, workers have to work harder and work faster to help the company stay alive, to stay in business. So, when people are in the workplace, they face increased work pressure to work quickly and to produce more, speed up and do more. Workplace activities like uh, writing a letter or having a, a meeting have to be done faster in order for the workplace to become more efficient. As a matter of fact, uh, many experts who study the work trends uh, agree that the efficiency, that efficiency has become the number one value. Mm -hmm. All right. So now let's go inside the typical workplace to see what I mean. Okay. We all know that most offices have a fax machine and computers with email and the internet. And all this technology makes communication faster and faster. Well, what is the result? Hmm? Well, it makes people, uh, it, it means that people can make decisions more quickly and respond to decisions more immediately. They have to think and talk at the same time. All because there is less time and more pressure to get the work done. So, all of this created a faster paced workplace and workers who feel busy all the time. So in the end, the hours that people are working are busier. The working hours, their working hours are busier. Okay? Hmm? Okay. Now, let's, um, let's move on to another point. <clears throat> Even though Americans feel busy, research shows us that they actually really like their jobs. They do. In a large national poll of working Americans over the last 30 years, that's the time of all these changes in the workplace, researchers found that 9 in 10 Americans were either very satisfied or moderately satisfied. Then Mm -hmm. That means about 90% of Americans, that's a very high number, are, either, are happy in their work situations, even though, as we said, they feel busier. We like our jobs. We like our jobs, and it's okay that we work and more and feel busier. This certainly isn't true for everyone, but there is evidence that it is true for many people in the U.S. All right. It looks like we've got to stop now. Uh, this is really interesting, and I know more research in the near future will focus more specifically on this topic. Okay. That's it for today.